welcome back to Sight Unseen. If you are new, welcome to Sight Unseen. My name is Zoe, and as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing what is in my guide dog bag or what I have for my guide dog so far. Um, if you're new here, I am getting a guide dog in the summer of 2019, so this upcoming summer in July, uh, from the Guide Dog Foundation in New York. Um, I just wanted to kind of make a video on some of the things that I am getting my guide dog or some of the things that I have for my guide dog. Um, I do want to add a quick disclaimer. I know you guys hate disclaimers, but whatever. Um, every guide dog user is different. Some people will find these things necessary. Some people will find these things unnecessary. It really just depends who you are and what school you're going to and what your school specifically provides. Um, I will quickly go into what my school provides. Uh, my school provides a basic leather leash, a basic uh, guide dog harness with a handle, a basic set of just regular metal food and water bowls, um, our first free big bag of kibble, a gentle leader, um, and I want to say, oh, and a tie down, and then maybe a little blanket to go with the dog, and then of course the dog. Um, so there are, you know, other things that you need to purchase on your own, and these are just some of the things that I have purchased thus far, and I will show you the bag that I'm keeping them all in, and the bag I intend to use uh, when I get my guide dog. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the bag I will be using looks like, this it's this really cute I'm trying to like make sure the camera can see it it's this really cute stripe pattern it has these handles on top and it also has these straps on the back um as somebody who will be using a guide dog on a college campus you really do need to be prepared for any situation in every situation so yes i will be carrying an extra little bag with me i know some guide dog users don't feel it necessary but I personally like to be prepared for basically anything, so that's what I will be doing. So, um, on the sides, there's I have one side pocket on each side, and there's nothing in here right now, but once I actually receive my guide dog, I will have a water bottle in each side pocket, one for me, and one filled with water for the actual dog. So, once you open up my bag, I want to add that this is a ginormous bag. I mean, it is huge. Like, you guys, it is absolutely ginormous. My friend Becca actually got this bag for me. Shout out to her. I will link her channel down below. It's from Walmart. I think it was $25. Um, and it's so far, I'm really loving it. So, the first thing I have in my bag, which doesn't actually pertain technically to guide dogs, but I figured I would include it since it'll be in my guide dog bag for most of the time, is my white cane. My cane is an Ambutec aluminum cane. I want to say it's about 56 or 54 inches. Um, usually, usually run for about $40, and then um, you can get different tips. Mine is the hook-on tip instead of just the um, slide-on tip, so you actually have to hook it on. And uh, yeah, it has the black grip at the top and then all the white and then the red and then I just have a few fun little keychains on here. So that is the first thing I have. Um, the next thing I have is probably one of the biggest things and the most expensive things. This was from the shop Cozy Horse, which I will link down below because I love their stuff. Um, and it is this guide dog cape. Um, it looks like this. It is royal blue. That is what shade this is in. This, the basic one with nothing else on it, runs for $56, but it comes to about $64 um, if you're shipping it within the U.S., and I don't know how much it will cost if you're shipping it out of the U.S., but basically, I know you guys have seen service dog vests. This is basically the vest for the guide dog, and you can unhook it like this and then you hook it to their harness and it kind of just it lays on them like that um and then you it has three pockets it has one here one up here and one over here and you can kind of just store stuff in it extra poop bags or extra kibble um just stuff like that 
Uh, so yeah, this runs for about $64. It is actually very nicely made, um, and I am enjoying it so far. I will do a more in-depth review when I get my guide dog and I'm actually, um, you know, using it. But so far, it is a great product. Then, also not technically guide dog related, but I figured since it has something to do with vision and this is something else, I will basically carry everywhere. This is my glasses case. Um, it has my reading glasses in it. Uh, so if I'm reading something really, really small, I will switch out these glasses, which if you can't tell, they are bifocals. But if I want something that's just really strong, I will use these. So that's also really nice to have in there. Something else that I have are, or is, this bone i just decided to get a bone for the first time i meet my guide dog because i think it's a good bonding technique to kind of have something nice for them the first time you meet them so that they associate you with something good so this is just a pet stages safe and less messy than the real sticks long lasting durable chew dogwood stick so I just thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, I thought that, you know, I don't know, it'd be nice for the dog to actually have something when he met me, so, or she met me. Um, next up, which I have heard are really necessary for people on college campuses are these collapsible bowls. So I have two, obviously one in the shade red, one in the shade blue and they hook on to whatever you want. I'm actually gonna hook them onto the outside of my bag, but for the purpose of this video, I just have them easily accessible, and they just go out like this, and then you can do it like that. So you can pour um, water that maybe you're storing in a water bottle, like I had said on the side of my bag. You could pour it in here during class if the dog needs water, give it to him, and then clap the fuck up the bowl and throw it in your bag, or um, same with food. If you kept a little food pouch either in your bag or on the dog's cape, uh, then you can just give it a little bit of food if it's really, um, if it's very hungry or something. I got these off Amazon. I want to say that together they were probably about six or seven dollars. So I would say very reasonably priced. Um, and they just are really nice quality and, you know, I recommend them to whoever. Um, next up I have this fanny pack. Um, this again, isn't really technically guide dog related, but it's something I would keep in my guide dog bag or the bag that I carry with me. It's just, um, a bag of, it has all my medications in it. So for example, it has some nausea medication in there, has some, um, decongestants, it has some of my pain pills. It's just like something that's easily accessible that I can just keep my medications in. Something else I have for my guide dog is this leash wrap it is in the color coral and this is from i want to say whiskers world off etsy i will try to link them down below as well this is custom made so embroidered with the words i put on it, it says guide dog and then it says do not pet on the back then i have these really cute things for college it says service dog in room do not disturb they're pretty self-explanatory they're on amazon and i'll be happy to link them down below for you guys um I also have these two patches off Amazon, which I'll link down below. This one says, I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm here to do my job. And this one says, not all disabilities are visible. Um, I'm also ordering a few more patches. Some of them will go on my bag just for fun. And some of them will go on the guide dog's cape. Um, then I also have two regular food and water bowls. These are really cheap. They're literally from Aldi. They were probably like, I don't know, 10 bucks for both of them or seven bucks for both of them. Uh, they just were from our previous dog, and I thought, why not reuse? Um, lastly, I just have my spare cane tip in case something happens to my current cane tip, and then also uh, a poop bag holder with poop bags that I will actually attach to the guide dog's um, harness when it gets here, and then I will keep extra poop bags in its cape. Um, there are still some things I need to get. Obviously, I need to get the dog and all of its equipment when I go to class, but then a harness sign and little boots or something else that I'm looking into. So, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe down below and check out those links for everything that I mentioned in this video that I will be happy to link down below 